Ambassador, I want to tell you I have a great deal of respect for what you do. I serve on the Armed Services Committee, the Intelligence Committee. I've worked with the NATO Parliamentary Assembly, including being its president, and I know the complexity of, of what you do. I know you have little access directly to decision makers, little resources, but you have still a great deal of responsibility. Uh, it's a complex task, and I want to take us from just the concept of one-dimensional Ukraine being corrupt to the other issues that you had to deal with as the Ukraine ambassador. You had to deal with more than just our bilateral relationship with Ukraine, for example. And I'd like confirmation that, I mean, obviously I know you know these, but these were on your portfolio. You had to deal with the issue of the OSCE Budapest Agreement and the uh, denuclearization of Ukraine and the issues of its territorial integrity of, of the signatories, correct? Um, could you run that by me again? The OSCE, mm -hmm. um, the organized Organization for Security and Cooperation for Europe, mm -hmm. and the Budapest Agreement, under which Ukraine gave up its nuclear weapons and believed they had its territorial integrity mm -hmm. guaranteed by the United States and Russia. Mm -hmm. You would have had that in your portfolio. Well, that... Was an yes. issue you would have to deal with the Ukrainians on. Yeah, when the Ukrainians would ask about our policy and whether it was in keeping with the Budapest Agreement. Excellent. NATO. Um, Ukraine is an aspiring NATO country. And of course, you have the Bucharest summit where the U.S. and the NATO allies made a statement that they would get membership. That would have been on your portfolio. They would have been uh, discussing with you. Yes, their, certainly absolutely. aspirations to NATO membership will right. be. And it's also consistent with U.S. policy that the U.S. supports Ukraine joining the EU, and they have a great deal of, of uh, interest and, and, and desire for joining the EU, correct? Yes. And they just had a, a summit in Ukraine in July where they talked about uh, the associated agreement on economic integration between the Ukraines and the EU. And they also had a discussion about the illegal annexation of Crimea and the blocking by Russia of the Ukrainian sailors that came out of the Azov Sea and that were, were captured. Those would have all been issues that would have been in your portfolio and that were consistent with what the EU's issues are, correct? Yes. We work closely with our EU partners. In addition to Ukraine, you'd have to work with France and UK and Germany, all of which you have different ideas of those. The ambassadors to the Ukraine of France, Germany, and yeah. Correct? Yeah. Uh, did you say they all have different ideas about these issues? Some of them, yes. Um, but, but mostly there's a consensus. You'd have to work with NGOs, non-governmental organizations, on issues that we heard about legal aid, human trafficking, building democratic institutions, and even HIV AIDS, right? Yes. And you've spoken at several NGOs while you were the ambassador to Ukraine. Yes. Now, the U.S. ambassador to um, the EU, they would have under their portfolio aspiring nations to the EU, would they not? Yeah. Okay, so um, EU Ambassador Sondland then would have had Ukraine in his portfolio because they're an inspiring nation and he's the, our U.S. ambassador to the EU, correct? I think he testified that one of his first But you agree that it's within with his portfolio, Ukraine. correct? You would agree that it's in his portfolio, would you not? Yes. I would agree. Yes, thank you. Now, I, I want to go to the next I'm sorry, can I just finish your answer, Richard please? Holbrook is um, a person who would I suspend. have a great deal of, it, of general uh, suspend. reverence for. I'm not Ambassador Ivanovich had not finished her answer. You may finish your answer, Ambassador. Thank not you. out of my time. You're done. No, nope. right? Ambassador, Ambassador will be recognized. I would say that um, all EU ambassadors deal with other countries, including aspiring countries, but the, it is unusual to name the U.S. ambassador to the EU to be responsible for all aspects of Ukraine. I, I, I'll, I'll take your additional answer. It's still in his portfolio, which was my question. You, you knew of Ambassador Holbrook probably. I did. He's a man of great integrity, one of our most successful a ambassadors. Um, you know him probably by his reputation. You would agree that he was a man of great reputation, right? Yes. Yes. Uh, Madam Ambassador, would it surprise you if in 2004 John Kerry had a member of his campaign who was a foreign policy advisor who traveled to the U Ukraine in July and met with Ukrainian officials and the U.S. ambassador? Would that surprise you? And a, a member of John Kerry's campaign team for President of the United States in 2004, traveled to Ukraine, met with the U.S. Ambassador in July? Not necessarily. What Would was you have taken context? that meeting? If, if a member of John Kerry's campaign traveled to the Ukraine, um, would you have taken that meeting? 
I guess it would depend on what the purpose of the meeting was. Well, that meeting actually occurred, and it was with John Holbrook. John Holbrook was a private citizen, traveled to Ukraine, met with the U.S. ambassadors, met with Ukrainian officials. He was also there on about HIV AIDS, which was, in addition, something that the Clinton Foundation was working on. So we have a, a official of the John Kerry campaign in 2004 as a private citizen meeting with our ambassador in Ukraine. Time of the gentleman has expired. Is unusual? We meet with private individuals all the time. It probably wasn't unusual for Julia. Gentlemen, time has expired.